Right, let's look at our positions. We've got one, two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty two, and sixty four, which is equal to eighty. Now just grab a calculator and see if that one adds up. So I don't know about you, but my calculator said that that was correct. So that's basically how a left shift works. Now for multiplication of other numbers like 5 times 17, this method is not going to work, but it's not required for the computer course, computer science course that I teach, so I will not be teaching you that. Let's have a look at the complement of left shift and we'll have a look at right shift, which as you might have guessed is the equivalent of division. So right shift is division. Let's start with something easy. Let's say that we were doing 16 divided by 4. Okay, so 4 is 2 to the power of 2, so we're going to shift it 2 times. Let's start off with our 16. So if we go through our positions, we've got 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. So I've gone super easy here. And we need to shift it two positions to the right. So basically we're getting rid of that one, we're getting rid of that one, and we are left with 1, 0, 0, which by my calculations is equal to 4. Now going from a basic decimal decimal result, 